The first humanoid cashier robot named Donyasha has captured the hearts of millions of men around the world. In 2022, the company Promobot introduced a cyber cafeteria with a robot named Dunyasha. The robot was created based on the Robo C2 companion robot with a movable face, head, neck, and functional hands that help the device interact with the interlocutor, gesture, pour coffee, pick up objects up to one kilogram, and perform various movements. The cashier robot can suggest buying ice cream, soda, or coffee. While waiting for an order, the robot is capable of engaging in conversation, discussing news, or suggesting taking a joint selfie. The Cyber Cafe Pack includes a freezer for making soft ice cream, a machine for preparing carbonated drinks, and a coffee machine. These modules are equipped with robotic manipulator arms. There is also a self-service terminal and a hyper-realistic cashier robot for communicating with the customer when placing an order. The developers explained that they used a new type of servo drives for the robot's hands in this version. Dunyasha also has a wide range of micro-expression adjustments, allowing the robot to express emotions more vividly. A new technology for manufacturing silicone skin with greater elasticity was used in creating the robot. Robot. Additionally, the company Promobot introduced a modification of its companion robot RoboC with functional movable arms. Each Robo arm has 8 motors and 12 degrees of freedom. It can pour coffee, gesture, pick up objects, and perform various hand movements. The company specified that dynamic stabilization systems, servo drives, and hand controllers will form the basis for developing functional legs for the humanoid robot. Promobot has already begun their development and production. The company gained recognition in August 2021 when it unveiled the first version of the humanoid robot, Robo C, capable of moving facial muscles, engaging in conversation, and answering questions. Promobot was founded in 2015 in the Russian city of Perm. Its robots work in 43 countries worldwide as administrators, promoters, consultants, guides, replacing or complementing traditional staff. Humanoid robots funded by the company OpenAI have learned to perform a variety of tasks autonomously thanks to their connection to neural networks. The humanoid manufacturer 1X has introduced the EVE robots, which are trained to perform tasks using the method of end-to-end -end learning. The company OpenAI has invested more than $125 million in the project so far. In a video, EVE robots perform various actions without any human intervention, solely under the control of neural networks. They open doors, maneuver through narrow passages, connect themselves to charging stations, tidy up items, and pick up scattered toys. In the near future, 1X plans to expand the team of developers and increase the number of robots for platform testing to 300 units. The 1X humanoid robots in the video appear physically weaker compared to robots like Tesla, Figure, Sanctuary, or Agility. The company has trained 30 EVE bots on a range of individual tasks using imitation learning through video and teleoperation. They used learned behavior models to perform specific tasks to train the basic model capable of performing a wide range of actions. Then, this basic model was fine-tuned considering the capabilities of the specific environment, such as warehouse tasks or general door manipulations. The final step involves training the bots for specific business tasks, meaning creating sequences of certain actions. Chinese scientists have invented a new fabric of the future. Thanks to this innovative technology, clothing transforms into a digital screen capable of displaying text and images. Special electroluminescent fibers are woven into the fabric. When an electric current passes through them, they light up at specific points like a regular screen. This fabric is just as comfortable as traditional ones. It is lightweight, breathable, and can conform to the body's contours. It can be washed, folded, and stretched without damaging the display. The development team envisions that their invention will be useful for people who cannot easily use smartphones, such as polar researchers, geologists, and people in various professions. Instead of a phone, they can see information directly on their clothing and interact with it through touch. Let's move on to other news. California-based startup Pivotal unveiled the Helix, a lightweight electric air vehicle, at the International Electronics Exhibition, CES 2024. It is designed for short recreational solo flights and is suitable for people who are not too tall or massive. To operate this device, a short course will be required, but no pilot's license will be needed. The main advantage of Helix is the absence of the need for certification from the United States Federal Aviation Administration. Weighing less than 158 kilograms, the device falls into the ultralight category of aircraft. They can fly anywhere except densely populated areas and airports. It can be operated by people aged 18 and above, weighing no more than 100 kilograms, and with a height not exceeding 195 centimeters. Helix has a limited range. The battery charge lasts for 20 minutes, and it takes approximately 75 minutes to recharge from 20% to 100%. The device is available in three configurations. Pre-orders for all three versions are already open for U.S. residents, with the base model priced at $190,000. Deliveries are promised to commence in June of this year. 
Robotics researchers from Stanford University have introduced Mobile Aloha, an affordable open-source hardware system for the autonomous operation of mobile bi-manual robots. Training the system to perform tasks successfully requires only about 50 demonstrations, achieving an 80% success rate. After this, human operators are no longer needed. Similar robotic systems performing complex manipulation tasks were previously limited to stationary activities, lacking the mobility and agility required for practical everyday tasks. Mobile Aloha is designed so that its manipulators can easily coordinate with primary actions. This approach enabled it to autonomously perform tasks such as frying and serving shrimp, opening a two-door wall cabinet for kitchen utensil storage, calling and entering an elevator, and rinsing a dirty frying pan from the kitchen faucet. The robot's training involved a combination of direct control and observation. For instance, to teach it to cook shrimp, it was remotely controlled 20 times with slight variations. This approach allowed the robot to understand different methods of solving the same task. The machine also received data from previous training sessions involving other robots with different routine tasks one might encounter in a kitchen. This collaborative learning helped the robot acquire the necessary skills to work effectively in a restaurant. Interestingly, the entire setup, including a webcam and a consumer-level laptop with a graphics processor, costs about $32,000, significantly cheaper than ready-made bi-manual robots that can cost $200,000. Engineers have yet to devise an electronic replacement for hairstylists, but they have come up with a way to save time on your next visit to the salon. Designed for Japan's growing elderly and bedridden population, the device consists of a reclining chair and a computerized wash basin. The machine incorporates robot hand technology with 16 mechatronic magic fingers that rinse and wash hair. It also remembers each user's individual data, such as head shape and massage preferences. According to a Panasonic release, a moving arm in the machine first scans your head in 3D to determine its shape and the optimal amount of force to use while shampooing. Next, the robot's 16 fingers gently massage your scalp while a three-motor arm moves back and forth and force sensors ensure a delicate touch. Each arm contains a trio of motors to power swing, press, and massage motions, ensuring a range of versatile movements. Scientists have successfully 3D printed living human brain tissues for the first time. Researchers from the University of Wisconsin-Madison printed tissues of the brain's cortex and striatum on a 3D printer. These living cell assemblies grow and function like real tissues. However, they are not intended for transplantation, but for studying the functions of the human brain and various neurological disorders. Researchers say the secret to their success lies in the special density of bioinks and horizontal printing, which allows cells to receive oxygen and nutrients. This 3D printed brain model will help study various neurological diseases and pathologies of the nervous system, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. Professor of Neurobiology and Neurology at the Weizmann Center, Su Chun Zhang, says it will allow scientists to understand how cells and parts of the brain interact in humans. He believes that the achievement of his team will change the scientific view on stem cell biology, neurobiology, and the pathogenesis of many neurological and psychiatric disorders. Medical technology startup Forward has introduced CarePods, self-service medical cabins with artificial intelligence. These pods conduct a comprehensive body scan of the patient, collect samples for analysis, and then create a personalized observation and treatment plan. According to Forward, patients can enter these white cuboid spaces and access a wide range of medical services by selecting them on a touchscreen. These services include biometric body scanning, needle-free blood collection for general analysis, weight monitoring, and diabetes screening. The ability to assess the patient's heart, thyroid, kidneys, and liver is also mentioned. The pods are equipped for diagnosing diseases such as COVID-19 and HIV. HIV, and will also offer monitoring of mental health issues. Developers promise that over time, the technology will become more advanced. Forward plans to create applications that can provide prenatal care, expanded cancer screenings, and genetic analysis to identify a patient's risk of developing hereditary diseases. The goal of CarePods is to make primary medical care more accessible. It is anticipated that access to these mini clinics will be provided through a monthly subscription of $99. Despite the widespread prejudice that the main producers of robotics on the planet are Asian countries, particularly Japan and South Korea, Iran has managed to introduce its latest version of a humanoid robot to the world. The device was developed within the walls of the Center of Advanced Systems and Technologies at the University of Tehran and is capable of performing unique operations that bring the mechanism closer to humans. The human-like robot Surana, fully designed by Iranian developers, is able to write its name, balance on one leg, grasp a water bottle, drill a wall, and even take selfies with anyone interested, as claimed by the portal Inverse.com. Dr. Agil Yousefi Koma, a professor of mechanical engineering leading the research group that worked on creating the robot, believes that one of the most important principles in the development of future artificial intelligence is improving the robot's interaction with the environment. 
Despite the fact that Serena 4 cannot engage in parkour like the robot Atlas from Boston Dynamics once did, the device can balance better than before, interact with a larger number of objects, and is capable of performing most tasks that an average person could do. The developers claim that the appearance of the robot they created can represent a symbol of technological progress towards peace and humanity. Scientists from Duke University and Harvard Medical School have developed a new method called Deep Penetrating Acoustic Volumetric Printing. This technique enables the introduction of liquid biocompatible inks into the human body and subsequently printing necessary tissues and even implants right on the spot using ultrasound. It is a kind of 3D printing carried out directly within the body. After printing the desired object, the remaining ink can be removed using a syringe. Depending on the goals, both stable and biodegradable materials can be used for printing. The researchers have already tested the method on a goat, printing a section of its heart, and they have also successfully reconstructed a portion of a chicken bone using this technique. In a third application, the scientists printed hydrogels for the controlled delivery of chemotherapy drugs within liver tissues. Engineer Will Cogley has 3D printed an incredibly realistic human heart that is virtually indistinguishable from a live one. Will Cogley's extremely realistic 3D printed heart is powered by three servo motors under Arduino control. While essential for life, few of us have seen a beating heart in real life. Given that this normally involves some sort of trauma or radical corrective surgery, this is certainly for the best. However, if you want an extremely realistic working model of this important organ, Will Cogley shows how he created his own. The amazing animatronic is cast out of silicone, then covered in some sort of fake blood. Inside, two servos push the bottom left and right sides of the heart out in an offset sinusoidal pattern, then snap back as quickly as possible. A third servo pushes the top of the heart out, following the motion of the bottom two and completing the beating effect. The 3D printed device is controlled by an Arduino microboard, along with an Adafruit I2C servo driver, and user interface is provided by a potentiometer to vary the heartbeat speed. Power is supplied via a cable from the back, which allows it to sit on a table or in one's hands without ruining the effect. If that's too realistic for your taste, Cogley also built a much simpler model using only a motor or crank mechanism to incrementally push out sections of the heart. This is housed in a cloth heart-shaped enclosure and battery-powered, making it more of a light-hearted joke than a realistic or terrifying prop. But an ultra-realistic heart is not the only achievement engineer Will Cogley can boast of. This skilled craftsman also prints frighteningly realistic animatronic eyes on a 3D printer. The key to making high-quality animatronics is in lifelike movement and realistic finishes. You could have the most sophisticated actuator controls and mechanisms in the world, but the effect will be ruined if your character looks like dummy. Conversely, you could have a character that looks extremely lifelike when it's still, but that immediately falls into the uncanny valley as soon as it moves. The eyes are one of the most important parts of the puzzle in that regard, and YouTuber Will Cogley is making a series of videos to teach you how to make disturbingly realistic animatronic eyes. In these videos, Cogley is demonstrating both how to make the eyeballs and how to actuate them using affordable components and 3D printed mechanisms. All of the mechanical parts can be printed on any fused filament fabrication 3D printer. The American Aerospace Corporation, Arca Space Corporation, has created the first functioning prototype of a device similar to the hoverboard from the movie Back to the Future Part 2. The ArcaBoard hoverboard can hover above any surface at a height of up to 30 centimeters. The hoverboard flies thanks to the thrust generated by 36 engines. Their total power exceeds 270 horsepower, allowing them to support a passenger weighing up to 110 kilograms. However, in terms of performance, this device is far from perfect. A full charge lasts only six minutes of flight. The charging process takes a whole six hours, but it can be reduced to 35 minutes by purchasing a docking station. The hoverboard weighs more than 80 kilograms. The speed it can reach is up to 20 kilometers per hour. The Arca board can be controlled both by body movement and via a smartphone. According to the developer, the board is made from materials used in the aerospace industry. This development costs about $20,000. Manufacturers are diligently working on improving their invention. They sincerely believe that in the future, the Arca board will not only replace urban transportation for many, but also become a popular sport. It is entirely possible that in a decade or so, hoverboarding will gather stadiums full of spectators eager to watch athletes perform aerial acrobatics. Belgian startup Eve has announced the Willow X robot, designed to serve as both a gardener and a security guard. This multifunctional robot can harvest crops, dispose of waste, and even deter intruders on the property. Equipped with onboard cameras and artificial intelligence, the machine identifies and removes weeds from flower beds, placing them in a waste container for storage and eventual disposal or recycling into fertilizers. The robot relies on surveillance systems using a 4K camera, mapping, obstacle detection, and can operate for up to six hours without recharging. Its motor is designed to navigate slopes with a curvature of up to 25 degrees. The price of the Willow X robot is $4,400.
Researchers at the Suzumori Endo Robotics Laboratory at the Tokyo Institute of Technology have a different take on robotics in the form of a musculoskeletal robot that moves like a human. Essentially, a fake skeleton covered in a bunch of cables, the musculoskeletal robot is powered by artificial multifilament muscles that function like real human muscles when electrical current flows through them. Basically, the fake muscles can contract and expand similar to a real human's movements thanks to the electrical current, even enabling the skeleton's head to move around realistically. The muscle bands are controlled by an electric current, allowing the fibers to contract like human muscles. At the moment, the Suzumori endohumanoid can't support itself, but the robot's legs do contain the exact same number of muscles that a real human being's legs use to walk. The researchers hope that as technology advances and the musculoskeletal robot progresses, it will eventually be able to walk on its own and self-balance, similar to the Atlas robot. The flying electric transformer car Aska A5 has received approval from the Federal Aviation Administration and the U.S. Department of Motor Vehicles. The Aska A5 is a powerful electric transformer car with a flight range of 400 kilometers and a top speed of 240 kilometers per hour. What sets this four-wheeled vehicle apart is its ability to transform into a six-motor airplane with a single press of a button. The Aska A5 model is priced at $789,000 and distinguishes itself from previous models as a larger, more powerful, and comfortable four-seater car comparable in size to an SUV. Equipped with large wings for cruising and propellers with adjustable tilt, the Aska A5 achieves its flight range and speed through a hybrid transmission with an extended range. The vehicle requires a relatively short runway for takeoff. The Aska A5 has received limited FAA certification required for flight tests, which the company claims are already underway. Additionally, the vehicle has DMV approval for road travel. The company is currently working on certification with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. After successful tests, the FAA certificate for commercial sales will be obtained. As of now, Aska has received more than 60 pre-orders and $50 million in deposits from customers to secure their orders. According to the company's website, the A5 model is expected to be ready for commercial production in 2026, pending all necessary certifications. KTV Working Drone has created a novel, more effective and secure method of cleaning high-rise windows that are also thought to be quicker and less expensive. Drones will revolutionize the facade and window cleaning market. With drones working five to 10 times faster than current methods for facade and window cleaning, KTV Working Drone solves the job in a very efficient way, and you don't need lifts and facade climbers. The drone uses a clean water system with special nozzles, water pressure, and heat to be able to clean without mechanical or physical contact. With the use of drones, KTV Group carries out maintenance and condemnation Minimums and housing associations much faster, and customers achieve significantly lower prices. The drone has been extensively tested and commercialized for use with window and facade cleaning, and has been used operationally since 2020 by the KTV Group in Norway. What do you think about this unusual way of cleaning windows of high-rise buildings? Share your opinion in the comments. Let's talk about animatronics and why are they already among us. Animatronics are robot characters that look and move like living creatures. They are created to impress people and evoke admiration. They are often used in the entertainment industry, movies, amusement parks, and other places where impressive entities are needed. But can animatronics think and feel? Inside animatronics, there are mechanisms and motors that control movements and articulation, allowing them to perform various tasks. Additionally, electronic systems, sensors, and software are used to control the actions of animatronics. The materials used to create animatronics are diverse, including metal, plastic, rubber, or other suitable materials that provide strength, flexibility, and realistic movements. The skins of animatronics are usually covered with soft materials such as silicone to create a natural appearance and texture. Animatronics can mimic various types of creatures, from animals and birds to monsters, robots, and even humans. Special effects, sound signals, and lighting details are also often integrated into animatronics to enhance the realism and create a unique atmosphere. Scientists acknowledge the significance of animatronics in the entertainment industry and other areas where they are applied. Animatronics can create amazing visual and interactive effects, captivating and engaging the audience. They can be used for educational purposes, in medicine, and in other fields where visualization and demonstration of specific concepts or processes are required. However, it should be noted that animatronics do not possess their own consciousness or awareness. They are programmable machines that perform predefined tasks and movements. They lack emotions or the ability for independent thought. In this aspect, scientists agree that animatronics are technological tools and artificial constructs. 
Scientists also view animatronics in terms of their potential applications and development. They explore possibilities for improving animatronics, incorporating new technologies, and developing more complex systems capable of creating even more realistic and interactive characters. In the future, animatronic creators plan to use artificial intelligence to enable them to react to their environment, perform more complex tasks, and resemble us even more. A future where machines can resemble living creatures has already arrived, and with the development of neural networks, robots may become part of society, replacing humans and service industries or substituting animals in zoos. Thanks to robots, we may travel back to the Jurassic period and witness how real dinosaurs looked. Advanced technologies will allow people to recreate prehistoric creatures so realistically that we may not be able to distinguish them from living beings. One example of future animatronic robots is Rocket, one of the main characters in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. The bold and furry creature from the famous movie is loved by both children and adults. In the film, the character was brought to life using computer graphics, and at Disney California Adventure Park, his animatronic counterpart performed successfully. Just like on the big screen, the charming rocket speaks with the voice of Bradley Cooper. The animatronic robot looks remarkably authentic and is on par with its animated counterpart. The incredibly impressive animatronic head was created to promote the Siemens Biograph MMR medical system by the special effects development company Legacy Effects. The body part looks frighteningly realistic, and the facial expressions are nearly indistinguishable from human ones. Earlier Legacy Effects staff were involved in developing animatronic creatures for various cinematic masterpieces, including dinosaurs for the film Jurassic World. This unique robot will make police work much safer. The robot called Go Between is attached to a police car using a holder that extends forward directly to the driver's window, allowing the officer and the driver to communicate without leaving their vehicles. Go Between is equipped with a screen, webcam, signature tablet, and a small printer that can print necessary documents, such as a traffic citation. Here's how it works. Once the officer's car is parked behind the stopped vehicle, Go Between approaches the driver's window, becoming the officer's eyes, ears, and voice. At the same time, a spiked strip automatically deploys in front of the rear wheels of the vehicle, preventing it from driving away until the traffic stop is completed. This approach will make police work more convenient and safer, while also preventing potential accidents. DJI has introduced the first drone in its lineup of delivery drones, the Flycard 30, which can transport cargo either in an onboard case or by suspending it on a winch. The choice of transport method depends on the landing site, specifically whether the drone can land there or if it needs to lower the cargo on the winch. The drone is equipped with eight mushroom-shaped propellers distributed among four arms, with two sets on each arm. In the standard configuration with two batteries, the drone can carry a payload of 30 kilograms over a distance of up to 16 kilometers, at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour. If the drone operates with only one battery, its payload capacity increases to 40 kilograms, but the flight range decreases to 8 kilometers. The Flycard 30 can fly in moderate rain and operate in temperatures ranging from minus 20 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. An engineer for the Q named Sergei Gordiev made a one-of-a-kind and fully functional bicycle that rides as normal, even thought the back wheel is two halves of a wheel, separated. A bicycle with split wheels doesn't differ much from a regular bicycle. In fact, it smoothly rides through the streets and even overcomes obstacles without collisions. What makes it unique is the placement of the rear wheel. Instead of a regular single rear wheel, the rear wheel is split in half, forming an incomplete circle. The bicycle with split wheels rides perfectly well on any terrain, on flat surfaces, and on high and low surfaces. With such a bicycle, you can easily descend stairs. However, weight is one of the main drawbacks of this bicycle design. Storing a bicycle with split wheels requires more space. The video shows that the split wheel performs its task, although it requires a wider bicycle frame to accommodate the two halves of the wheel. Beam is a telepresence robotic system developed by suitable technologies that can teleport you to a remote location, allowing you to move around and communicate with people. The robot is easy to control and features a large display to enhance user communication. The Beam Pro model can operate for up to eight hours on a single charge, after which it autonomously returns to the docking station. It has a 17-inch screen, one HD camera with 3x zoom, a navigation camera, one speaker, and seven microphones. Precise navigation enables the robot to navigate around obstacles and locate specific people in a building. Users can control the robot using a computer, tablet, or smartphone, moving around and interacting with the environment through the control interface. It stands at 134 centimeters tall, weighs around 30 kilograms, and has a maximum speed of 2 kilometers per hour. The price ranges from $2,000 to $15,000, depending on the model. Mercedes also unveiled an electric off-road concept of the G-Class at CES 2024, featuring a unique technology called Crab Walk, allowing it to rotate in place. This innovation relies on four independent electric motors. 
The Electric G-Class concept with the ability to rotate in place does not have an official market release date yet. However, Mercedes-Benz plans to start production of the Electric G-Class in 2024. In addition, the company introduced a car that can communicate with people and express emotions. The Virtual Assistant MBUX is the most human-like interface ever seen in Mercedes-Benz vehicles. It uses artificial intelligence and 3D graphics to make conversations more natural, effortless, and enjoyable. The MBUX Virtual Assistant can display four different emotions, depending on the situation and your needs. It can also use smart technologies to understand your preferences and assist you accordingly. For example, suggesting the optimal temperature or suitable music for your mood. The MBUX Virtual Assistant can be activated by voice, gesture, or touch, and it responds to commands in a natural language. Some say this robot is too human-like, and that's unsettling. Others claim he is too far from being human, making people feel uncomfortable around him. But the fact remains, the Jibo robot has stirred quite a buzz in tech circles. Of course, the robot cannot truly feel, but it remarkably expresses emotions and can recognize and evoke them in others. It doesn't have arms or legs, essentially being an electronic brained acoustic system that can be placed anywhere, standing at 28 centimeters in height, with a 5.7 inch touchscreen in the place where a face would usually be. Inside, it houses a speakerphone, motion sensors, cameras, and recognition systems. By turning its head, the robot can recognize people entering the room and adjust its communication style accordingly. It can serve as a screen for video calls, a system for remote presence, and simultaneously act as an assistant. Its peculiar mind incorporates elements of induction and deduction. Noticing crumbs on your clothes, it will deduce that you've been eating and might even suggest brushing them off, like a true companion. Robots like these could be a gateway for many to transition from the virtual world to the real one. People addicted to their smartphones might perceive Jibo as a connecting link between social networks and real-life interaction. Archer has completed the first phase of flight tests of its air taxi, Midnight. This advanced electric aircraft seems poised to revolutionize urban air travel after successfully undergoing unmanned mode testing. If all goes according to plan, crewed flights are expected to begin by the end of 2024, with the company aiming to obtain model certification and launch commercial operations by 2025. Analysts appear divided on the company's prospects, giving Archer only a 50% chance of success. But Archer seems optimistic as they are already preparing for certification tests under the Federal Aviation Administration FAA program. These preliminary tests are crucial to prepare the air taxi for the critical flight suitability examination, without which commercial launch is not feasible. Judging from the company's released video, the Archer Midnight Air Taxi is already impressive in its capabilities. During the first phase of testing, the aircraft successfully took off, landed, and performed basic maneuvers. However, the most significant transition to horizontal flight with rotor rotation at the leading edge of the wings is yet to be tested. If all goes smoothly, the Archer Midnight Air Taxi promises to revolutionize short urban flights with a range of 30 to 80 kilometers. With a full charge, the aircraft can cover up to 160 kilometers at speeds of up to 241 kilometers per hour, accommodating up to four passengers. Dutch engineer Bruin Bergmeester has combined an electric bike with a treadmill and named his invention Lopafit. This innovative mode of transportation will appeal to those who love running outdoors, in parks, or on tracks rather than in gyms. With the help of an electric motor, minimal effort and energy are required to move this hybrid, similar to walking or regular biking in a park. As the cyclist steps on the Lopafit, a generator is activated, producing electricity. The electric motor, powered by this electricity, drives the rear wheel. The speed can be adjusted using gear shifts, and when going downhill, the motor can be fully disengaged, allowing for freewheeling using the brake. The Dutch electric bike Lopafit will be available in five colors, with a battery life of up to 55 kilometers on a single charge. Clickbot is a robot designed for teenagers by Kiwi Tech. This technological marvel not only entertains, but also educates its owner on relevant topics such as robotics and programming. The robot's design was crafted by professional animator Carlos Baena, known for his work at the renowned Pixar Animation Studio, where he contributed to the creation of characters like Cosmo and Vector. Clickbot consists of several blocks, including the brain with a display, camera, and sensors, as well as a skeleton and joints. The robot can be moved using wheels or pads with pressure sensors. Control of this assistant robot is done through the Clickbot mobile app, available for both iOS and Android. The price of the robot starts at $500. The humanoid robot Digit from Agility Robotics has learned to understand commands in natural language. The company has previously conducted experiments with ChatGPT, and now engineers have once again announced the use of an unspecified large language model to see the physical embodiment of artificial intelligence. 
For the experiment, the robot was placed in an environment with towers made of various boxes. The robot knew the differences between the boxes but had no idea what to do with them. Then engineers started giving commands like, take the box of the color of Darth Vader's lightsaber and place it on the highest pedestal and observe the robot's response. The robot would think and strategize its actions, while the neural network in the chat would provide commentary. This is roughly what the future may look like. Japanese company Kawasaki has unveiled the second generation of its cargo drone, the K-Racer, featuring a 300-horsepower engine. This is not just a drone, it's a true cargo giant in the world of unmanned aerial vehicles. During testing, the K-Racer effortlessly lifted a 200 kilograms load attached to a cable into the air. The first version, K-Racer X1, made its debut in 2020, and in 2021, Kawasaki showcased its capabilities in loading and unloading cargo using a robotic system, completely eliminating the risk of contact with rotating blades. The X2 model, the subsequent generation, features a more traditional helicopter design with an increased rotor diameter of 7 meters. It has abandoned the wings and additional pulling propellers present in the X1. As a result, the payload capacity has doubled. Now, the K-Racer X2 can lift up to 200 kilograms at sea level. The maximum speed is not specified, but according to Kawasaki's statements, the range is about 100 kilometers, and the maximum autonomous operating time is approximately one hour. Oro is a smart robot that can look after your furry friend. The AI-powered pet robot Oro takes care of your beloved pet while you are away. Unveiled at the CES 2024 exhibition, this new robot promises to provide communication, comfort, and play for household pets when their owners are not at home. The company's founder explained that Oro is created using advanced artificial intelligence. The built-in dispenser provides treats to the pet upon the owner's command, and a separate automatic bowl dispenses food on a schedule or command to maintain the feeding routine. The Smart Pet Buddy features a two-way audio and video screen, allowing pet owners to interact with their dog remotely. Oro can also navigate autonomously within the house, using an enhanced camera and LiDAR-based mapping system to follow your puppy and provide you with updates on what's happening. The new dog companion robot Oro is priced at $799, and shipments will begin in April of this year. Unfortunately, the K5 robot didn't have much luck as a police officer. After only six months on duty with the New York Police Department, the robot was disgracefully dismissed for being unfit for service. What's surprising isn't that, but the specific complaints about the poor bot. Among them, the lack of legs for navigating stairs and the absence of arms for apprehending offenders. Both factors were known in advance. So what's the issue? Apparently, the benefits of its work, namely facial recognition and verbal recommendations, didn't outweigh the hassle. After all, to protect the robot from attacks and essentially falls, several police officers were constantly accompanying the metallic robot. The startup Night Scope, which developed the K5, stated that the current version is a prototype and will be improved. However, the disappointed police chief and mayor of New York do not want to hear anything more about robots for now. It's worth recalling that earlier, the K5 gained notoriety when working as a security guard at a shopping center. It ended up drowning in a fountain. At CES 2024 in Las Vegas, LG unveiled a compact bipedal AI robot named Smart Home AI Agent. LG positions the robot as a versatile home manager and companion. The robot is built on the Qualcomm Robotics RB5 platform, which integrates hardware and software to support multimodal AI capabilities. This intriguing device can recognize faces and voices, identify the emotions of people around it, and engage in dialogue. Equipped with a camera in its face, as well as a speaker, microphone, and various sensors, the Smart Home AI agent interacts with the surrounding environment by listening, speaking, and navigating. According to LG, the robot can greet homeowners at the front door, analyze their moods, and respond accordingly. Additionally, LG stated that the robot can analyze indoor air quality and measure air temperature. For the first time, CSEED introduced the world's first folding TV, the N1, at the CES 2024 exhibition. This TV can be placed in front of a glass window or a wall without any restrictions. Its easy installation and practical design adapt to the user's needs, transforming the space into a multifunctional entertainment and social environment, creating incredible moments for family and guests. When a screen is needed, the mesmerizing sculpture undergoes a complete metamorphosis, rising and unfolding as if by magic. The N1 TV is the world's first product of its kind, not just a modular solution. It has a rotation of up to 180 degrees, fully automatic opening, taking 60 seconds to reach a height of 7.8 feet. The micro LED panels silently unfold over the next 25 seconds, with built-in sound, a comprehensive control system, and adaptive gap calibration to ensure 100% seamless image quality. When not in use, the TV discreetly folds back into the base, resembling a sculpture or a piece of luxurious furniture.
Eilek is a new type of robot with emotional intelligence that takes social interaction between people and robots to a new level. It makes your life easier and becomes your companion when you need it. Eilek is the perfect companion for children and adults who love pets, games, and smart robots, with a wide range of emotions, animations, and interactive features. When it meets another robot of the same kind and connects with it, they will communicate, play, and even fight or argue. The robot is made of durable plastic in the form of a rounded figure standing on a flat base, which can rotate and perform various movements. Eilek's arms move, and you can determine its mood and feelings by its face, represented by a small graphical display, as well as the sounds it makes, amusing laughter, crying, babbling, sneezing, and more. The robot is equipped with several sensors that allow it to sense impacts, vibrations, and touches, each triggering a corresponding reaction. For example, a gentle tap on the side of its head will display swirling stars on its face, while a tap from above will make it scream and cry. Eilek is afraid of thunder, and loud sounds can startle him. However, he enjoys music and loves to dance to it. Gentle stroking is well received, immediately manifesting as a satisfied smile and cute giggling. The average price of the robot is $250.